Alright guys, today we are working on healing inside the building, but we are healing with lots of distractions on the ground. Uh, so we have a garbage bag, I have dried leaves, I have a bowl of food in it, a toy, a sponge. So use things that normally Lula might go for. So if it's socks, underwear, paper towels, whatever your dog is notoriously known for grabbing off the ground, whether you're outside or inside, make a little, you know, field of that object. And then you're going to practice behaviors they already know around those objects. So we want to be very clear. We don't want to just stick a bunch of things out there that Lula normally eats and then let her just have a free for all and, and you know, correct her. We want to give her something to do like healing, walking next to my left leg. And then if she breaks behavior and tries to grab something with her mouth or sniff, then I can correct that because she knows that. Heal means walk next to my left leg and don't sniff. So that makes sense to a dog. Hi. We're going to practice that first. Then I am going to give her a little bit of freedom, meaning she's not going to be doing an active behavior like healing. She's just going to have some freedom to walk around. I have the leash though. If at that point, because she's not doing an active behavior, she goes up to sniff something or grab a piece of food, that's when I'm going to use the leave it command. Leave it means stop looking, focusing, whatever you're doing with that thing, and draw that attention over to me. Focus on me. Look at me. Come to me. Whatever's best in that situation. So we'll kind of see how it goes, and we'll just make it more difficult if she's doing good. Yeah. So she has not done this course yet, so I am going to warm her up on her, her heel first. Do the heel. Let her know we're working. So a lot of times, the dogs associate going from their kennels, running through this room outside. So when we ask them to do something more controlled, they're a little confused. So totally normal. We're just going to keep working it until she knows we're in working mode. Yes. Nope. Okay. I'm going to move this leash up. Make sure it's on really good. Good. Heel. Nope. 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 Good. Nope. Really good, but then when the food is not in the container, 
totally different story, right? So we're going to take some biscuits and we're going to spread them around. I'm going to be the same concept. I'm going to see it on my walk, remind her what she's supposed to be doing, reinforce her if she passes it, correct her if she doesn't. If she doesn't do it right, we are going to turn her out and repeat it. So she knows they're there. I'm gonna to walk toward, I'm gonna to walk toward this one. Remember, I'm gonna remind and see what happens. Heel, no, no, repeat. Heel, no, yes, good girl, no, good girl. Try it again. Heel, yes, good girl. Heel. Yes, beautiful. That's it. Heel. No. So you see how she did the first one really good. The second one was like, oh, that looks totally different. I must be able to get this one. That's not always the case. So don't think because she walked by that bone, she's going to be able to walk by this bone with no problem. Those are two different bones, two different scenarios, two different moments in her life. Heel. Heel. Yes, good girl, honey. That's awesome. Good. I'm going to try to go by both of them. Remind her. Heel. Good. Yes, yes, yes. Heel. Beautiful. That was how it works, guys. So when you're on the walks, if you can just kind of go through your head and say, I see it. Remind her what she's supposed to do. And either correct it or reinforce it. And keep continuing that. She's going to learn to ignore everything that's on the ground. I'm going to grab a few more treats and I'm going to do the leave it command. All right. So one thing when you do release her when you're doing this, sometimes when we say, okay, really big, they think it's well, oh, free for all, eat everything that's on the ground. So I'm gonna very casually release her, okay? But I have released, because I'm not gonna get her full freedom. Leave it. Yes, honey, that was beautiful. And you see the minute she took the focus off that and focused on me, verbal praise, treats, love. This is way more fun than trying to get that bone. Leave it. Yeah, baby. That was good. Good girl, sweetheart. I'm so proud of you. That was so good. Good, okay. He's just so small and he just went so fast and accidentally stepped on him. He just lay there. It's so scary. Leave it. Sorry. Right. I was about to pop and she took me off guard there. Good girl. Good. Remember, don't be afraid to use your leash. Leave it. Beautiful, Tula. You are so impressive today, my love. Let's try to go up to that bone up there. I'm not sure if you can see this one on camera. <laughs> All right, so that's what I wanted you to see. See how she went up to that bone? I didn't even say anything, and she turned around to come to me. Why? Because we've done that four or five times already. She's learning the pattern. And that's all we're trying to do when we build up behavior is build up a pattern that the dogs recognize. She recognized that four times she walked towards a bone. She heard me say, leave it. She came to me and got tons of love and reinforcement and treats. So the fifth time she saw that bone, she's like, oh, I know what I do. I turn around and go back to mom. And that's when I get all of my fun love treats. So that's all you're doing is practicing this. So when real life happens, she has a pattern already in her head and knows what to do in that situation. You're so 